Electronics Product Development Center is one of the UST's efforts to support the electronics industry. It is a project under the Advanced Science and Technology Institute, or ASTI, and co-implemented by the Electronics Industries Association of the Philippines, or, or IAPI. This shared services facility provides design, prototyping, and testing services and equipment for fabricating printed circuit board designs, prototype products, and produce test reports needed for selling electronic products for the local and global markets. The center houses hardware and software that are used by companies or organizations, big or small, local or foreign, including students doing projects or research. It is one of the best ways to prepare students and engineers for jobs and experience working in electronics projects and with the industry. In addition, EPDC is managed and staffed with professionals from the electronics industry. This experience, combined with state-of-the-art equipment and facilities, enables the center to transform your designs into reality. This is Vic Gruet of the Electronic Products Development Center, the one-stop shop facility for designing, prototyping, and testing of electronic products. It is from DOST's technology-based inclusive growth program, The Smarter Philippine. It started in 2012 and we opened in 2016 to service the industry. EAP ran the operation starting in 2018 and up to the present. EPDC caters to everyone in, this, in the industry from academia and students and hobbyists and enthusiasts to engineers and large companies in the industry. We provide electronic product prototyping, which covers electronic circuit design, PCB prototyping, fabrication and assembly, and product enclosure prototyping using 3D CAD scanning and 3D printing. First among our services is electromagnetic compatibility test or EMC test for EMI and EMS emission and immunity testing. We cover most of the popular CISPR numbers from 11 to 32 covering consumer products, automotive products, including industrial and scientific equipment. And we also do RF radiated for the same equipment, including transient testing for product, product safety. Uh, so among the services, uh, EPDC includes product safety testing, parametric testing for RF equipment, and trainings and seminars in the, for the electronics field. Recently, we were accredited with the ISO 17025-2017 uh, certification by A2LA to provide our EMS and EMC services. We also undertook IPC training for acceptability on electronics assemblies. And here you have the certificates. For PCB, we use Altium Designer 14, a well-known electronic circuit design software for PCB layout, circuit simulation, and Gerber file generation. We also provide PCB fabrication, including milling and drilling, through hole plating, solder mask, and seal screen from your Gerber files that you send to us via email. And we also provide PCB assembly for the boards and the parts uh, supplied to us, whether internally or externally sourced. So we can do both uh, surface mount technology and through hole technology. Again, we do this on a prototype quantity basis. So we're not doing it for production quantity uh, tasks, uh, services. PCB assembly, we provide services for both surface mount technology and through hole technology. So overall, we do these electronic products prototyping activities using desktop equipment. On these slides, we show you some of the shots we have in the lab covering electronic products prototyping. PCB fabrication and its many steps. So we can go all the way from, from 
PCB milling up to assembly. On a closure prototyping, we provide 3D scanning, enclosure design simulation, and enclosure design using SOLIDWORKS 3D CAD. For 3D printing, we're using a 3D systems project 1500. And these are sample from, samples from our 3D printer. For our EMC capabilities, we now have services for both emission and immunity. On emission, we can do conducted radiated RF and harmonics and flicker on the other side. For immunity, we can also do conducted and radiated for RF and all the others for uh, ESD, such as ESD, EFT, surge, and magnetic fields. As we said earlier, these capabilities are now certified by A2LA for global acceptability. Our capabilities with respect to international standards cover the following. CISPER 11, 14, 15, 25, 32, 61,000 and 61,003-3. So basically this covers industrial scientific and medical equipment, household appliances, electrical lighting, um, vehicles, boats, internal combustion engines, uh, information technology equipment, sound and TV broadcast receivers, and harmonics and flicker from power sources. So more detailed description of the EMC standards. So basically we cover 150 kilohertz to 30 megahertz and up to 18 gigahertz for RF radiated emission. More detailed information. So for immunity measurements, we have RF conducted immunity from 150 kilohertz to 400 megahertz and radiated immunity from 80 megahertz to 66 gigahertz. Basically the immunity tests will show if your equipment can withstand, let's say, interference from a cell phone or a broadcast transmitter ne nearby. Because if you don't watch out, your equipment might hang or fail completely while in the presence of strong radio and magnetic fields. So these are the tests needed to protect your equipment and people if they're using the equipment in close proximity of transmitting equipment. More details for immunity measurement. Okay. So the immunity uh, tests for radiated RF, and it also includes pulse magnetic field, and also voltage dips and interrupts on the power, power line. We also do tests for immunity for automotive at the component, component level. So this means uh, testing, let's say, radios or cameras for cars or the dashboard, for example. So we can do tests on them before they're mounted on your cars. So here we have pictures of our uh, EMC semi-anechoic chamber. So we can handle the largest uh, equipment for with our three to 10 meter capability. And it's the first 10 meter semi anechoic chamber in the Philippines. So we have the fourth uh, SAC among the ASEAN countries. So this is another shot of the EMC chamber with a three meter turntable. It can handle one ton. And this is a picture of the control room where we can handle long, long uh, power cords with a guide rail and another picture of the equipment inside the control room. This is uh, immunity 
testing room where you have electrostatic discharge equipment to test your equip your your electronic products, harmonics and flicker setup, and the surge and magnetic field uh, immunity testing setup. For product safety, we comply with IAC 60950 tests for safety of IT and audiovisual equipment. So these are all the tests. There are about 43 of them. Um, you can specify which ones to test, or we can test all of them for you, depending on the type of equipment that you will send to us. So these are the types of equipment that we have. The high pot tester, leakage tester, LCR meter, power meter, insulation tester, data logger, and digital multimeter. So all of these, including mechanical tests for for impact, uh, burning temperature, uh, jointed finger probes for holes, etc. So these are our temperature ovens from 50 to 300 degrees centigrade oven. And another one with a high low temperature of minus 40 to 180 degrees centigrade with a humidity from 20% to 98% relative humidity settings. Aside from our EMC tests, we can also do parametric testing for electronic equipment, for basic electronics testing, high-speed testing, RF testing, and climatic measurement. So these are the equipment. So for example, you can test equipment for GSM, and you can you can have them tested here, and the results can be accepted by NTC. To round up your electronic prototype testing, we also have ROS checker for the basic six elements, and a thermal imaging camera so that you can check your prototype if all of the components are working properly and no, no component is overheating because of product uh, design or failures. To provide better services to our customers, we have these services coming in for EPDC. We are expecting to receive our wet process PCB fab service equipment pretty soon. Uh, this will allow our, us to increase our PCB fabrication volume to three square meters a day uh, 150 micrometer widths, white silk screen, and copper plated through holes. We will have industry level PCB surface finish of INIG and immersion tin. We can handle bigger panel size up to 300 by 400 millimeters and multi layer capability. The rinse water will be recirculated, so we will not be polluting the environment from any of our effluents. That's all for now. So we hope to see you and your products coming in to EPDC for prototyping or testing. See us at our website, or you may send in your inquiries through our email address below. Thank you, and see you soon.